What's up guys? Welcome to another three minute Thursday. This week's little episode is brought to you by Sporlin, American made, American proud, and American strong. Thank you Sporlin. So last week I talked about the VRF bans that are potentially happening across branches of the US military. Again, we had a good mixture of comments ranging from total agreement with the US military's assessments of it being a danger from leaks, as well as a nuisance for and a waste of taxpayer money to spend on the extensive service that can sometimes come with poor installations or non-functioning equipment. They really can be a money pit if they're not done right, so I can kind of understand where people are coming from when they side on that. As well as people that said basically, you know what, get on board, this is the future, keep up with the times, etc. Train your guys to service the equipment, shouldn't be an issue. I err more on the side of going along with what the military thinks is best for its troops. I'm assuming if they've come to these conclusions, it's probably because there's been some incidents that have not been reported that have led them to this analysis. Comment of the week that I thought I'd talk about came from Griff Hall who wrote, question, should you clear the roof drains on your customer's roofs if a lake has formed because of it? Also, can you talk about hydration on super hot days? Dispatcher tech relationship and always offer to take a call to show you're a team player. Well, that's great of you, Griff. I don't really know if that was a question or a comment on the last part. Um, Clearing roof drains for customers, uh, absolutely not. That's just me personally. If you guys do it, that's great. I don't mess around with roofs. Well, I work on roofs all the time. What I mean is I'm not gonna tamper with a customer's roof. A lot of customers tend to be psychos when it comes to the roof, and understandably so. It's incredibly expensive. Roof leaks can last for years and not be discovered and not have the sources be discovered if it's a little puncture or something like that. So. I tend to not mess around outside of my world, so if the lake is around the rooftop equipment that I'm gonna work on, yeah, I may bring it up to the customer for them to address themselves, but as far as me taking a stick, going around and just unplugging roof drains around the roof, absolutely not. If you do it, good on you, it's just not something I'm gonna risk or waste my time doing personally. Hydration, absolutely. It's a huge issue in the trades, especially those that work outside. You should be drinking tons of water every day throughout the summer. I'm guilty of not always doing it. I drink soda here and there, but I do try to drink lots of water. So yes, it's incredibly important, Griff. Thanks for bringing that to light. In fact, I'll make that the question of the week. How much water on average do you guys drink on a daily basis in the field? Or do you drink a two liter of Mountain Dew like some of the guys I work with? Let me know. Speaking of hydration and staying cool, pop giveaway. First person to comment below, Tenacious, is going to get this Tenacious Chillets towel. It's from the Tenacious Ergodyne Workwear brand. It's a great company. They have tons of products, safety gear, tool lanyard systems, glasses, apparel, safety lenses, arc flash gear. They even have extreme weather shelters, like this pop-up shelter here that I got last week and got to try out in the field. It was fantastic. I posted this on Instagram. It was extremely extremely heavy duty, high quality and well made. I've bought probably eight or 10 of these in the past from Walmart and I've literally had three or four of those break in half on the first use. One little gust of wind, they're gone. You don't fold it up perfectly, gone. It was actually good timing that I got that shelter because the week before I had just gone to the Bluegrass Railroad Museum with my kids. It was Civil War day. We took a little Civil War train ride, had to get off the train for a skirmish that was taking place. One more Yankee down below that ridge. Johnny Ribs gonna get him. Thank you for watching. Bye. Couldn't help but notice all the tents in the little tent city and thought to myself, this is what I need for compressor change outs. That's it for this week, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Stay tuned next week for another three minute Thursday. Thanks for participating in the pop giveaway for the Chillets towel from Ergodyne. Again, this is one of those towels you soak in water, ice water, lukewarm water, doesn't matter. Wear it like a bandana, wrap it around your neck keeps you cool for hours, really a cool little product. And with that guys, stay safe out there. Please consider subscribing and we'll see you on the next one.